Des pelote, it's sort of a play on words. Pelota means ball. And des pelote is sort of a saying people have that's like, esto es un des pelote, that means like, this is a mess. And like, you play as a kid, kicking a ball around and causing a mess and like being mischievous around this park. Hola, me llamo Julián y soy el programador y, y diseñador de Despelote. Hola, mi nombre es Sebastián Balbuena y estoy a cargo del arte en Despelote. Eh, se incluye la animación 2D, modelado 3D y también la música. Despelote is a game about the culture of soccer. From the perspective of a kid uh, growing up in Ecuador in the early 2000s. It's a slice of life adventure game set in Quito, Ecuador in 2001, when Ecuador was really close to qualifying to the World Cup for the first time. So Ecuador had a major economic crisis in 1999. It was a very troubled and difficult time, but also a time of hope for a lot of people here. And there was, I think, a very important moment in Ecuador's recent history that doesn't get talked about as much, because I think the, the soccer team had a really big impact in the whole country. Like, it definitely went past the boundaries of the sport. And it gave the country a lot of hope. And you see this through the eyes of an eight-year-old kid who is just kicking a ball around uh, with his friends in the park. This pilot is a first-person game. It focuses a lot on exploration and doing mischief and having fun. And it talks about memory and childhood. I grew up playing a lot of soccer and it was always a big part of my life, I think. And Ecuador and Latin America is just a big part of life. You can't avoid it. I always really liked it. And then I came to the US, I came to New York. And because it's not as big culturally, I sort of took, took a step back from it. And then a few years later, I started thinking like, what, what was the role soccer had in my life? And I was just like interested in trying to understand what soccer had meant to me. And I was like, okay, I'm going to make a game to try to answer that question. So you're kicking a ball around, you play as a kid. And this ball is very physical. It's reacting to you, but you're never playing a full soccer match. It's more like you're exploring this park and playing with your friends and being mischievous. And then the park is full of all of these characters that are just going about their day in the park. Like some people are having picnics or people walking their dogs. And you can sort of interact with everybody uh, through the soccer ball. They're all having their own conversations. And the idea is that as you're kicking a ball around, you're sort of absorbing everything that's around you. The story sort of follows every match in the qualifying process for the World Cup that Ecuador was playing. Like th that's happening in the background and there is um, some like loose narrative elements that are inspired by my own life. And the parents are played by my own parents, so you have moments with them. Ian, the sound designer, came with me to Ecuador and we talked with all my friends and family and we presented these situations for them and then let them improvise. We really wanted to create this sense of space. I felt like the best way to do that was not to like just write all these conversations, but like talk to people like friends and family who like remember this time and see what they could bring in from their memories. The style of this pelote uses a combination of 2D hand-drawn characters and 3D backgrounds, which are based on real photographs. We used a lot of photo reference from real places here in Quito. And for some specific parts, we also used 3D scanning. I think it was very important for us to use real places as like the base for everything. So he goes and like takes pictures of certain locations and then models them in a very low poly way. It's not like a one-to-one -one recreation of Quito. It's a memory that we're all putting together of this particular time. All the hand-drawn elements are interactable and they call out to you and they like stand out, they're in black and white. And then the background is this fuzzy memory that we've been sort of putting together. And that's sort of what we're going through with this like grainy aesthetic. I think the game does a good job of, of showing this contrast between the world of a child and also the world of adults and all the problems and complexities that come with it. So this contrast of techniques and art styles really helps us to show that. In the game, it's been really important to like, explore this like idea of childhood. There's part of it where you're like really understanding what the limits of the world are. And I think through kicking a ball around, sometimes it's really fun. And like you're playing with people and all the other kids are really excited and you're passing the ball back and forth. And that's like really fun. But then you kick it at this old guy who doesn't want to play and has no interest in soccer. And then he gets really mad at you. And you're sort of like exploring those boundaries of like what is okay to do. And I think 
that boundary is also clear and like there's all this stuff sort of happening around you and all these people are having these conversations. You never fully hear the whole conversation, you're just hearing part of it and it's about like subjects that feel bigger than like what you can understand in the moment. The game tries to capture this feeling of being a kid and living in the world. Hopefully players will be able to like, feel transported into this moment in time and this specific space that is Quito in 2001. I hope that they lived uh, this pelote with the sense of having experienced a unique story that is not told very often and also that they have fun and they feel something with the game.